Good morning, agents. This LP of No One Lives Forever will self-destruct in so, 11 minutes. Are you enjoying yourself yet? Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting, to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly 50 quid. 50 quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot up his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Munro's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me. Uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime. The time. Don't get snippy with me or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? This is somewhat of a uh, challenge, I suppose. Uh, you can pick the top option, he'll call out targets for you. The second option, nothing. And the third one, well... Where's the challenge in that? I just hope there are enough to keep me busy. You may regret that sentiment. Time for a lot of people. So we're equipped with the carbine, which is, which has a built-in silencer, so we won't have to worry about anybody hearing I us. Go home. But we've only been here. Normally that conversation's supposed to continue, but I think because I missed a shot it cut him off. The uh, scripting's not perfect, but it's usually pretty good. Basically they talk about, oh, but you wanted to visit a foreign country, and the other guy says, oh, well, Canada's a foreign country, and it's not this foreign. You know, the usual tourism stuff. I have to say, though, I think this American ambassador is probably my favorite character in the game, and he's only in, like, two scenes. He's amazing. He's nearsighted, he's pretty much deaf, and he has no idea what's going on around him. But what he does know is that he's American. He's wonderful. So yeah, because I picked the challenge mode, normally these guys would be coming out, um, well, a lot slower. But, uh, well, they really got it out for this ambassador, and that's why there are so many of them. In fact, every time I do this mission, it seems like new guys, their guys are coming out of new positions. A lot of times I'll see them on that roof on the top right, but this is the first time I've seen them coming out on that, yeah, see right here? But this is the first time I've seen them coming out on that patio on the upper left. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, after enough time passes, the ambassador finally finds the dime he dropped, puts it back in his pocket as he bends down ever so slowly, and then he's going to move down to the next floor. Of course, some of the issue with this can be finding time to reload. Uh, you do have ten bullets in the uh, in the magazine, so that's nothing too terrible. But, uh, well, especially if you don't know where the guys are coming from or you're not expecting it, you can be caught off guard and reload at an inopportune time. The reload animation is pretty quick, though, and for those of you that are gun nuts, no, you don't have to, uh... You don't have to chamber in around after you do a dry reload, so, uh, you know, realism, uh, well, immersion ruined, I suppose. Since the guys are so close by, I figure there's no need to use the scope from this range. And the rifle's generally, uh, generally accurate enough to let you do that. On top of that, all these guys, I guess they're mm, pretty much dead in one shot. Normally the rifle isn't quite that strong, but, uh, well, you know, it's probably... This is the first mission of the game, you know, you, they don't want to toss you in the deep end right off the bat. 
Yeah, if he kills someone close enough to the center or the ambassador where he can see them, he'll uh he'll call out some sort of derogatory term. He's he's absolutely wonderful. Hooligans! Derelict! Good for nothing! I don't know what anybody's going to do with all these rifles scattered around the area now. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon. You'll cause a commotion. So this is the first time the game really requires you to holster your weapon to not uh, make people panic when they see you. Because, uh, well, now we're about to go in out into public. Where Kate hides these weapons, I have no idea, and I'm not about to guess. I've mentioned this game has a lot of incidental dialogue. I locked myself out again. How irritating. I'll do my best to capture most of it, but some of these gunfights move pretty fast and uh kind of interrupt I it. I heard he plans to marry the American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? Yes, her. I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange, but America is a strange country. She may be crazy, but she is attractive. Ah, but you're invariably attracted to crazy women. All women are crazy. Mm -hmm. Shh, not so loud. So, some of these areas have intel in them that you can't grab until later, until you have more gadgets, and this level is one of them. Uh, that room that guy was trying to get into? Well, you can't do it without a gadget comes later. I'm in position. This room's actually a trick. The window that's already open actually does not give you a very good view of uh, where all the guys are. This uh, this window I'm looking out of right now, there's actually a guy that will come and stand right in front of it, and you can hardly see him from the left side window. Get ready. So opening up the other window is pretty much the only way to go. Yeah, see this guy right here? That guy's a dick. From the left side window, you can hardly even see his position unless you're on the far left of the window, and it is terrible. just lost yourself a customer! This guy is too much. Not again! Where are you, you pesky little dime? That damn dime is going to be the bane of my existence. I'd better find it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures! Yes, the thieves. That's what we have to worry about at the moment. Not the fact that it's raining men. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn! They must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers. Oh. Be sure to check the mail before you go. And now it's time for our first up-close gunfight. You know, because up until now we've only been sniping guys. I'll do my best to leave these uh, intel files on screen long enough to read them, but... Well, time doesn't pause while you're looking at them, so... Sometimes it uh, interrupts the flow of combat when I'm still getting shot. Hello? Who's there? Hello? Hello? Who's there? Who's there? This is hard rain in Ah! 
Easy enough. We'll just grab some mail on our way out. Seems as though some people have been paying some close attention to the Ambassador. But, uh, well, we've defended him pretty well for now. He should be fine. Anyway, please join me next time. Thank <laughs> you.